This may be the worst storm that we've seen in a hundred years to hit West Central Florida. The West Coast of Florida has barely cleaned up from Hurricane Helene as this monster hurricane takes its aim at Florida. A major hurricane hasn't made a direct hit on the Tampa Bay area since October of 1921. Helene was a wake-up call. Uh, this is literally catastrophic, and I can say without any dramatization whatsoever, if you choose to stay in one of those evacuation areas, you're going to die. A very real sense of urgency to leave before it's too late. Don't gamble with your life or the lives of your loved ones. The time to get out is now. This area could see storm surge of up to 15 feet. If you choose to stay in evacuation, area, you're, you're going to die. Roads are clogged as residents heed the warnings to evacuate. The search for gasoline getting more difficult as some gas stations here are starting to run out of fuel. And for those who are staying, a rush on water and plywood as residents make last ditch efforts to board up businesses and homes. KT Curran and her husband Chris have lived on Siesta Key, an island off Sarasota, for the last 25 years. She evacuated for Helene but her husband stayed behind to ride out the storm. That night, he got no power, he had no phone, and we lost touch with him. And uh, we found out the next day there was a five foot surge of water in the house. And he was all night in the pitch dark in five foot of water. And he sat there for hours on the top of a neighbor's high house until the water went down a little, and then went back in the house and laid on a wet bed until light came. They lost all of their belongings, and the house now has to be gutted due to mold in the walls. Now staring down Hurricane Milton, the couple has still decided to stay, this time in a friend's condo on the ninth floor of a building in downtown Sarasota, which has windows built to withstand a Category 5 hurricane. Now, as this hurricane is barreling down directly on our community, it feels like maybe Helene was just a rehearsal for what's to come, that they're talking possible 15-foot storm surge. None of us on, in a hundred years have seen anything like this. It is shocking. This storm is complicated by the mountains of debris left behind in these neighborhoods across Tampa, all from Hurricane Helene less than two weeks ago. We were with a debris cleanup company. They said between yesterday and today, they picked up over 100 tons. Now, also in these neighborhoods, you can see some of these homes are starting to board up. People taking this storm seriously and getting out of here. If you choose to stay, you're staying at your own risk. That's a huge risk with monstrous Hurricane Milton on track to deliver a storm surge, more than double what Helene wrought on Florida's Gulf Coast less than two weeks ago. Tampa, Florida is a possible landfall site. That city's mayor even more blunt regarding the danger. If you choose to stay in one of those evacuation areas, you're gonna die. This Tampa resident is one of thousands heeding that advice. He's bugging out of Tampa with his wife on their 46th wedding anniversary. What God will give us, we will accept it and always go to the safe place you can go. We'll see. Also critical, clearing out debris left behind by Helene. All hands on deck trying to help out the city uh, as much as we can before uh, that the big storm comes. This moving company is one of many being commissioned by local officials to work the coastal areas around the clock. We hauled close to 100 tons of debris just uh, yesterday alone. But soon these crews will have to stop helping others and save themselves. This storm's gonna be different. If you're in evacuation zone, please get out. And if there's any doubt, veteran Florida meteorologist John Morales may offer some clarity. It has dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. Um, I apologize. This is just horrific. The fear that you heard in his voice was echoed in so many other lifelong Tampa residents who we spoke to who said they've never left for a storm before, but said they're leaving for this one because they're simply scared of the amount of water that Hurricane Milton is expected to bring in. In Tampa, Florida, Lee Waldman reporting.